You know, in recent days on the channel, we've been looking at hockey players from the golden era of the 1970s and 80s who basically looked at hockey not as their own life, but as something as a means to an end they can pursue other interests besides hockey. Now, there's no better example of this than this gentleman, a very respected hockey player in Minnesota, a native of St. Paul. When Bill Butters uh, broke into uh, hockey, he was probably one of the most well-regarded uh, skaters from the state and eventually played in the WHA and the NHL, uh, kind of made his path for himself in a lot of ways. I think he was the first uh, player of his era to play for three WHA teams in one season that didn't fold uh, and also played with the WHA version of Minnesota, the Minnesota Fighting States, and the Minnesota North Stars of the NHL. Now, what Butters did after he retired from hockey, he went into the hockey ministries for a number of years and, uh, you know, made his own path in life. We're going to talk about that uh, very soon. Now, uh, Butters, a very unique last name to my, uh, to my uh, knowledge, ladies and gentlemen, there's not too many players that have been called Butters in the history of sports. Now, he was born January 10, 1951, and he first came to major prominence with a successful high school hockey career at the prestigious White Bear Lake program in Minnesota. He eventually graduated to the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers from 71 to 73, which was coached by Glenn Somnor and Herb Brooks, and he served as team captain in 1973 for that vaunted squad. Now, he eventually went on to play 217 games in the WHA for, again, the Minnesota Fighting Saints, the Houston Arrows, the Edmonton Oilers, and the New England Whalers, followed by 72 games in the NHL with the Minnesota North Stars when he jumped from the WHA to the Stars and wrapped up his career. Now, there was no indication he was not going to be considered for the 1980 Olympics, but he had retired by then. Now, uh, upon uh, putting his skates down, he didn't really put them down. He became involved with something called the Christian Hockey Camps International, run by Hockey Min Ministries International. And he uh, spread the good word uh, throughout uh, numerous locations around the globe. Now, his dedication also included giving back to the University of Wisconsin. Uh, from 2010 to 2012, he was an AC with that squad. Now, Butters eventually stepped down from the position in order to return to work again to the ministries. Now, at 5'10", 185, with a right shot, a very, very good, solid, stay-at-home uh, uh, defenseman, we, uh, we look at the stats. Uh, he actually he played two years in the minor leagues before or part of two years in the minor leagues in Oklahoma City before Minnesota took him on. Now, 76 was an interesting season. For some reason, he got into heavy penalty trouble that year. Almost 200 minutes in penalties in 73 games played between Minnesota and Houston. 77 again played with Minnesota, Edmonton, and New England and uh, only put up one goal. Now with the Whalers in 78, he played 45 games with them that season, but jumped to the NHL, very uh, unique at the time, uh, with Minnesota, one goal in 23 games. Now he was back with Oklahoma City in uh, 79, uh, and also played with Minnesota for, uh, for the majority of the cad that campaign, 49 games, four assists. Now, back to Oklahoma City in 1980, and again, retiring from hockey. But I'm, I'm still surprised that uh, Brooks never asked him to try out. Maybe the fact is he had, uh, he had a consideration maybe 10 years in at uh, the age of, uh, you know, 29. He might be a little bit uh, too old. But Butters, again, a very good defensive player. And what was kind of weird, ladies and gentlemen, when he would score a goal, it was a big goal. He scored a big goal in the playoffs for Minnesota in 75. And he scored uh, big goals for Minnesota and New England in a regular season in the mid-1970s. So final WHA totals, four goals, 51 assists for 55 points in 217 games, 430 minutes in the sin bin, five points in the playoffs. And in uh, 72 NHL games, a goal and four assists for five points. So a very unique career again. Um, uh, University of Minnesota, coach of Wisconsin, again, played with three WHA teams in the uh, the same uh, same season and also jumped 
to the uh, w, from the WJT NHL midseason. Like I said, good stay home defenseman, uh, very rugged, and again, very talented. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here, we're profiling the vintage. Uh, NHL and uh, WHA stories, please just let us know. Give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And I uh, hope everybody had a great Easter week, and I know I did. But uh, if the power goes out on Easter Monday, is it really an Easter? That's what we had in our part in New Brunswick on Monday. Power's off uh, as part of a, a planned power outage for seven hours. Go figure. Thanks for listening. Bye.